Okay, Tony, do you have something? Oh. Oh, no, I was just saying hello. Oh. <laughs> Good call Friday. Please don't call my house again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. um, yeah, don't have to. Graduation is, uh, I heard that it might be on a Wednesday, and we would say it's not. It would be great because the Nationals for track and field is that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So if it would be on a Wednesday, then the kids who make it to national, which we have like six kids going last year, some of them are seniors now, can go. Why is everybody smiling? Well, you should have called. <laughs> See? Yeah. So, technically, um, what is the last day of school? Is it Monday now? Uh, currently, it's Thursday the 13th. So, and then when we did, uh, well, this is part of the discussion for the board for uh, the end of the year calendar, um, the students, the seniors that uh, Mr. Dvorsky met with, had, you know, took a survey of what, what they would prefer, you know, if we could have it the last day of school, uh, have graduation the last day of school, whenever that would be, or if it was a Wednesday when we got out, you know, we could still have the student last day then, but just have graduation Friday, just have the kids come back that day, they prefer the Friday. But they all said that they wanted it the last day of school. So, so that that's part of this here. I mean, that and that's pending uh, any other potential weather uh, cancellations. And you never do it before the last day of school, right? I, uh, without having the seniors come in on a Saturday to make up that day. That has to be done before. And it's going to be a week, so that would have to be Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, that's it. Right. So it's. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. Sorry. No, I didn't. Yeah. But, so we're actually a full week ahead of schedule. We get to be in another week of snow and be out. Uh, uh, don't, don't, use, don't use the four letter S for me. So. <laughs> Yeah, it came out of nowhere on Friday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I looked outside. I'm like, oh God. But uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. We'll discuss that in a little bit. Uh, what we want to do. But anybody else? Nope. All good. All right. Moving on to the agenda. Um, we'll have a student recognition. We'll have several students for the school break. Three. Good. Uh, the public will have our enrollment reports. Moving down to number 11 is the real estate transfer tax collector. Uh, this, this group we work with, the Wayne County Deputy Realty Tax Collector. Um, we've been working with the uh, subject of the Yeah, they do this tax mm -hmm. um, So that's for this coming school year, the 19th. Number 12 is a bond issue that we uh, discussed last at last month's meeting, having to really look into uh, refinancing the current loan that we have for construction and then potentially adding on uh, some additional funds for uh, some projects that we would like to, to move forward with, uh, specifically carpet at R.D. Wilson, as well as what's going at R.D. Wilson, as well as um, uh, the athletic complex some other items within there. <coughs> yeah, um, just, we did put out a, a proposal to for lo four of local leagues here, and all four have indicated that they will submit a proposal. The deadline is Wednesday this week. So I went on before um, the meeting, when you get your final agenda at the end of the week, we should have a recommendation on there. Um, if the rates are, are still a decent rate, and it would be um, financially, um, beneficial to us to do this, then we'll make a recommendation to do that. Um, so it, it's kind of a still a wait and see, but we do have we do have some proposals out there right now. So we're seeing and we're also looking at the bond side of it, the bond market. And one thing is the deadline. Yeah. Let's let's discuss the effort. What are we planning to do here? Uh, well initially we're looking at uh, replacing the track and the turf as recommended. By, by Mr. Dunley. What, what was the company that we had? Chenango did a, uh, a survey of the, uh, the turf and track. Correct. 
turf is in decent shape. The track needs to be replaced. So, in looking at uh, setting a schedule of uh, maintenance and to schedule repairs, uh, Joe went out and had, they had surveys done so that we could prioritize. And that it can't, obviously, we've been working on the, the flooring at R.D. Wilson. This was the next uh, major priority. And being that, if you're doing the turf, you should do the track at once. And then if you're doing a big project down there to tie in other issues <coughs> of concern that we have so that it, it, it's taken care of at the same time. We're not hodgepodging uh, different projects and interfering with stuff that we've done previously. So what would be the, um, the turf? Where would you say we are on replacing that? Two years? I, I would what say within say? the next three or four years. Okay. Uh, it's at the tail end of its lifespan. Uh, it's in decent shape. We had it tested last year, uh, and I gave the Buildings and Grounds Committee uh, a copy of that test. Uh, they do an impact test, and they, they do all sorts of, uh, you know, put all sorts of instruments on it. Um, so they said, that, you know, it's in good shape for the shape it's in. Okay. Um, but it is at the tail end of its lifespan. They, they say you're going to get eight years out of that field turf. I think we're at nine or ten. So almost, 10 years. almost 10 years. Can the track wait a year or two or no? <clears throat> we were looking at next year having this done, not this current summer. So. Right. Well, can we kick it? Like, well, I don't know. I'm just that, that's up to you. Is that the life when of I the track? the track, I noticed that there's a problem with that track. Uh, and I've shown that the, the track is delaminating from the yeah, section. I, I see that. I, mean, I understand that. Uh, but we walked it also, and I. I I just wondered why the outside of the track is still anchored and all the way around the inside of the track, anywhere you can think of it. Yeah. Is, that a, is that the way it was installed so it didn't buckle or is it, is it totally delaminated? It's totally delaminated. Right. Uh, when I walk that track, I can walk, I'm in lane four or lane five and I can feel the hollowness underneath that track. Now, I didn't peel it. I didn't take that track from the inside lane and peel it all the way back. Oh, no, neither did I. I just left it up on it. And I was like, it just seems strange, but <clears throat> what caused that? Moisture problem? When I talked to the rep that was here, he said that's a first generation latex product. They don't even use that anymore. It's been repaired one time, uh, and he said they can't repair it anymore. So, what is the, the average cost, would you think? Do they give you a rough <coughs> 350 to 450, depending on the condition of the substrate. If they have to replace that asphalt sub base, it's going to be at the higher end. Um, if that sub base is okay after they test it, they do some core drilling, then it will be at the lower end. The track was in worse shape than the first percentage. They yes. recommend it with, within. Two years was it to replace the turf? They didn't give me a time yeah. frame, but he said that you know within a few years, yeah, the sun's going to degrade that, uh, the fibers on that, the turf, and that's going to make they're going to start peeling up. Right. Um, and my issue is I can't see replacing a track and then crossing that track sure. with all this heavy equipment and then, then replacing the turf. Um, if I was going to do it, I would do it all at once. Which ideally we need to get three or four years. The, the turf is three years, right? We're, we're all thinking about the track, then we're hoping for three or four years. That's kind of how I've been thinking about it, but. To get that uh, much more time out of you? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, total, because you want to do it all at once, right? Well, yeah, it makes sense that it But I don't, we, don't, we all don't know if it's going to last three or four years. That's kind of the whole issue. Well, and financing, I think, was factored into these decisions too because the, the lower bond rate issue uh, discussion last week with extending the debt <coughs> six to eight months pay for all these projects and didn't, uh, didn't affect us dramatically on the money basis. Right, our, right. Uh, that was the idea was our payment base if not didn't go down it stayed roughly the same and we right. just extended Instead. time a little bit to pay for all this so uh, I don't know how long we had to draw on that money if we were to take it have to be spent well, in, in a year yeah, or two? Or? It would need to be spent within three years of borrowing. So if we were to do the borrowing, um, 
based on what the proposals come in this month, then you're talking probably settlement in May, um, you would have three years from that May to spend the money. Otherwise, it, there's tax, tax implications. So you have to have an intent to spend it within three years or, you know, it's done. So, or, so if we're not intent on doing all of those projects, then we probably don't want to move forward with the, um, the refinancing piece and the, and the additional borrowing. So um, I mean, the other part we need some direction too. tonight on that. It, it's, you know, we're talking track and field, and we're also talking about bleachers, lights, right? And we actually had like that idea about lights so that the, some of the other fields might be able to get used so that, so that not everybody is on that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's great to do the track and field, but then also you start talking about <coughs> other things, you know, so I'm just adding on and adding on and adding on. Well, one of the things I think we have to work look at to help, I know from the day that track of the field was put in, they did all teams of their drills in that one spot. Maybe that should be as long as there's no mud, you know, certain as the fields are muddy, they just move back in there, but uh, this is maybe take a little bit easier on the field, help out some. Well, now how much of the, I plan on doing all of the way much? The carpet? Are you I would like to do the downstairs, downstairs, the downstairs this year, back. and then the upstairs next year. Good thing. Split it. What's it called? <coughs> that tough part of the night. It's called kinetics, and uh, it's a very durable. That would be done in the all, either entryway, mm -hmm. and then the carpet, wherever it's chosen for the for the rooms or whatever, right? So right, and it'll be a, a less expensive project inside the classrooms, uh, a Mohawk. They call it faculty meeting. That's it's pretty much a standard what they put in schools whenever they build them. Uh, it's just a little bit less expensive than that common area carpet. The carpet you get put in the that's what I'm sure you can do over all the time. Yeah, that was the talk tonight. Yeah. That's not as bad shape. That's original carpet. Yeah, like, yeah. So, Rose, that 2.5 would cover the track, the turf, the bleachers, the lights, the whole thing. And the carpeting. And the carpeting. So, we have to talk about alternatives if we don't move forward. If you're not interested in moving forward with the other things within the next two or three years, then we need to look at. In, you know, I know we talked before um, about using fund balance, and if we are only going to look at doing the carpeting piece now and pushing the other things off, then we could probably talk about taking that out of the fund balance that we have to cover the expense of the carpeting. I see why I can't just do the fund balance of the carpet and then we decide to do the new field and stuff. And talk about the concern is rates going up. And Secure it now and, and, and then reducing it. Yeah, the you know, not that it's a lower right. But uh, I think the small amount of time you're adding to the debt really makes sense to do it. How much did we add? We didn't add a half a year. Yeah, yeah. Six, yeah. Months, six months, but it was taken out for two point five. Yeah. Now, so we paid out at uh, 2026. 26, 27 school year. Right now we're fall, right and we're talking about spring of 27. We had. Yeah. And by, by just by restructuring debt, current debt. And since all these projects are going to be coming up, or should come up within a three-year period, it would make sense to get the money to do it. What, is there any other big projects on the hit list that, that are in, the very, in that period? Uh, I rec I, the stadium lights have to be replaced. Uh, if you notice, one of them kind of blinks out and blinks up, it works on certain games, and works on certain games it doesn't. What, what I like to do is change it over from the, the High pressure sodium lights to LED. The savings in electricity alone would be significant. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that's not in this, in this current. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's part of the budget. Yeah, yeah we factored those dollars in. This is the one, right? Joe? Do you, uh, he does have extra coffee. Yeah, there. I'm sorry. Well, that's I can kind of what No, he does. Extending the amount, extending the time. Extending the time so, at level. So 
renovation is going to be, how can you expect well, us to do with the storage building? We have an idea what the storage building Yeah, but we as a board talked about maybe making the storage building part of the bleachers, so sure. that's no longer a building, that's a, an addition to the bleachers underneath, correct? correct? Yeah, is that not what we were talking about? Mm -hmm. I think we, we haven't touched on it yet, so. Well, they're asking us to, to uh, put forth some support for a recommendation here on an agenda when we don't even have all the information. That's, that's not what I'm asking here. Uh, we talked about building a storage, putting a storage building down in that area. And uh, what I brought up to Matt was, hey, if we're going to do a lot of renovations down there or we're going to do all this work down there, why don't we roll that project into a larger project instead of putting a storage building up and then maybe getting in your way when you want to do some field house additions or renovations or something like that. That was my intent on putting this stuff on this list. This, this isn't set in stone saying, hey, this is what, this is what we want. Um, this was me presenting it to you guys to try to get some guidance and, and um, you know, telling me which way we want to go. How, 
how do we, we want, want to spend our spent. resources? Exactly. So, um, if we don't want to put a storage building up, you know, <coughs> I get it. Um, well, we were talking about that, but and something needs to be done with the equipment. But we, as a board, I, well, at least some of us, talked about retrofitting the bleachers to accommodate the equipment. Did we not? And that was potentially under the existing, so, not under right. potentially uh, under new bleachers. And maybe that's something that can be incorporated below well, that's on the other side of the field. So I don't know if that's as convenient. But, but anyway, yeah, that's all I think up for discussion. We don't and that have, was we don't for this year as well. No, so that's for next year. This, the field, the storage building was not going to be done in the summertime? If it was not going to be part of the project, that's a consideration now. I'm, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I think so what you, basically we've got kind of ballparks on what this stuff is going to cost. And it came up roughly the amount of money you're thinking. And that nothing's been designed hard in the stone. We still have to come up with all those plans. We're, just to, we're working toward that point. She's still in the process of even finding out if we can get there. Which it's going to be quite well. Right. So Thank the you. borrowing of that extra two and a half million incorporated a field house? Is that what you're saying? I think the storage barn was incorporated in that, like a storage building. Well, right, I, I know that one. That they did have an estimate on that, right? We, we did. Kind of yeah, we had, yeah. But that's not, I mean, you're not talking that field house with the two and a half million. There was another set of bleachers. Yeah, the small set of bleachers. The small set of bleachers. The turf, the track, the lights, and the storage facility. Just the storage facility, not this sports complex where we can practice in the winter. No, I did have some field houses on there. Right. Yeah. Within the 200 or 245. What is so? What did you kind of estimate that? Like fifty thousand dollars. Not knowing. I mean, I just. What size is the? What size is the gym? The high school gym. Eighty by eighty. Because they practice baseball in there, right? In the middle school and the high school gyms, right? So you're going to need a building that's going to accommodate at least the ability to practice baseball, correct? So we're talking about two different things here, though. Storage facility, and you're talking about indoor practice space. So this is yeah. so that's how they're looking at. They thought, if, if it was possible, it might be a good idea to have an additional weight training room, not not a space that we could house you know, baseball practice or something like that. This was winterized so that we could get students down the year round. You know, we could have different training groups going down into each facility, break it up because it's, right now it's mild, quite frankly. I mean, it's at capacity in terms of safety and, <laughs> and uh, equipment. Oh, Matt, I'll be honest, this is the first we're hearing about a weight room now, so. We discussed that at the last, we said it, it's, it, it's in a time potentially, but you know, we factored it in if, if feasible. We discussed that at the last meeting. There was a discussion, a generic discussion, as to the long term goals of a field house like Wayne Highlands. Well, and we said if we're doing the project, then let's factor it in to see what it would be. I don't know what it was, but if there was, somebody did say something. Agreed. I'm not denying that. I just remember we that. Just but, have time but I mean, right. we'll but, uh, 